Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Peter Aiden, CEO and co-founder of TrueGrid. Uh, we make uh, easy to deploy work from home solution for MSP partners. Check us out at the booth. It's my delight and ultimate pleasure to introduce this partner central launch and the men of the hour, Sean Lardo, the VP of partner development at OIT VoIP and James Hodgkinson, founder and CEO of Webfinity. Take it away, guys. Thanks, Peter. Uh, and also thanks for being a platinum sponsor for the Cloud Connection Summit. Really appreciate your efforts and you involving yourself with us and helping the partners. Um, James, perfect, we can see the deck. Uh, hey, everybody, welcome to uh, the, the first sales and marketing track session for the week. Um, as Peter had mentioned, I have my good friend James Hodgkinson on from Web Infinity. The uh, reason why he's on, and you're going to see here shortly, is that we made, as we as we spoke about earlier today, Ray and I, in the opening remarks, uh, OIT Web has put a lot of effort this year into getting things rolling for the partners. Uh, we identified some very major key gaps that we see with most with most partners and the vendors, and that was starting to align processes for channels for sales, marketing, operations, management, everything. The whole goal was to really. See, to get rid of the friction between us working with the partners and them getting with their end users. Um, keep things rolling at high velocity. So we started up this, this program, which is part, the OIT Partner Central, and we're going to show this in a few minutes here, um, for, a major, for the main pieces of we want to be able to have personalized portals for the partners, okay? We want to simplify all the pieces that you need to actually run your business, do business. Be busy working on your business as opposed to in your business. Um, ultimately, it's all about helping you guys grow. Uh, so if you want to scroll through here, next. Um, so we'd like to, again, I already introduced James Hodgkinson, as I said, a good friend of mine, founder, owner, um, founder and CEO of Web Infinity. The, the technology is really, really, really nice. The UI is very clean and crisp. You'll see that when we go through it. Made it very easy for us to work with. And it's, again, as you see here, it's, it's about just-in-time personalized engagement. Very important, very crucial that we can get this to you guys. So as we go through this, by all means, ask whatever questions you need. The other addition, which was uh, out of left field at one point, but now very much key role to us is, uh, and, and Heather Margolis is watching us now, and we will bring her in if need be, um, from Spark Your Channel. Uh, it's really important to know what this is about. We, we've added, we've selected certain events, certain partners to be part of this program because it's the ones that have really taken on the role of marketing and growing their business. It gives them a way to personalize and customize video content and other, other content as well and track it. And we'll show you that piece too. Um, as mentioned here in this in this page here, it is all about for Spark to be able to improve your demand generation, track your prospect interactions, better education, better better to educate your clients, everything real time, easy accessible, and and really again trying to get you guys into a position where you don't have to keep on looking for content and knowing how to use it. So it's all here for you. Okay, so with that said, I want to hand it over to James. Hey, thank you, Sean, and thank you to all of you for joining us for this uh, session today. So really excited to be part of this uh, journey with OIT and the, and the partnership to, to improving partner experience. Um, I just want to give you a little context on what that really means and, and what we're bringing here to, uh, to the party in terms of uh, enabling this for, for the partner community. So we really have a philosophy at Web Infinity that this is all around easy, simple, are on your terms engagement and we've taken our cues predominantly from what's working in the consumer world and trying to close the gap in in more of a business to business context um frankly less is more here and you know keeping things simple and doing things well is is the goal so there's a lot of effort gone into thinking about how to achieve that when it comes to curating and supplying not only content but easy access to transactional processes tools and systems and and really treating our, our users as human beings who, who just just want the basics done really, really well. And I'm excited to, you know, for Sean to share with you today how this looks from a OIT perspective, because I think the guys here have done a great job at, at, at organizing the portal to support that. And really, the philosophy here is is about ease of doing business. If, if we can try to change the uh, the, the must-dos to the want-tos and, and make you feel good about engaging with uh, some of these digital tools. It, it, it's really just going to help everybody do better, you know, a, a better share of wallet, more productivity, and just making technology go to work on your behalf or automating things that would previously have been very time-consuming or perhaps slow you down in terms of uh, the day-to-day -day of, of achieving the different results in your business. So, so Web Infinity as a team has been at this for nearly two decades, but our platform that we're out there pushing now is very new. 
Uh, we've been working with a lot of innovative clients and learning a lot from our customers and from ultimately their users, the, the partners on the other end of the conversation. And what we've learned over time is that there are some key components to doing this well. And it really starts with putting everything in the context of the individual needs of the user. That's what we call personalization. So what we're going to show you today is how you can leverage these tools to create personalization around yourself. You know, bring me the content, the tools and the systems that are important um, and put it all together automatically in a workspace, which is really easy to use. That's going to be accessible on every device that isn't going to make me wait whilst the pages load. And as things are happening in real time, this portal will be your connection to that. So if there's technical reports or updates you need, if you need to get hold of new sales materials, if you need to get quote requests, all of that can be done as and when it's always on 24 seven support. And there'll be an increasing investment in tools. Uh, we're, ex we're excited to show Spark today and how that's going to play a role in driving demand for, for you guys. But that's just the beginning of a journey to create more and more self-service tools and also easier ways to interact with your channel team. So if you're trying to in, uh, do the, the human conversations with your account manager, uh, we can put all that together for you and, and everything is measured and, and managed in a, in a very structured way. So as I mentioned, WebInfinity is partnering with a lot of vendors, a lot, a lot of manufacturers and supporting a lot of different use cases. And one in particular we want to put on the radar uh, for the MSP community is a partnership that WebInfinity is entered into with ConnectWise and the opportunity this brings to, to go better and further with making your life easier in terms of dealing with um, your, your vendors. Uh, what's interesting about the ConnectWise relationship is that it changes the emphasis towards the ability to manage multiple vendor relationships in one place. So next year, we have a vision to go further than just providing individualized partner portals. We're looking to consolidate uh, multiple vendors into one single easy to access vendor portal that will not only be available to you through WebInfinity's technology, but also through ConnectWise products such as Manage if you are using uh, those technologies in your business today. And what's really exciting about the relationship we have with OIT is they're an early mover in this project. So what we've been developing together and we're launching today for just OIT partners through Partner Central will also be connected as an early mover launch vendor into ConnectWise Engage, which is the project that uh, we're developing for launch um, later on. So, so these two projects are very aligned. And what we would really love to work with uh, the OIT community on is how we can do uh, a great job and, and some early learnings really as to how effective what we're providing to, to, to you may be if we start to extend those capabilities to hundreds of different vendors who are all working through their relationships with ConnectWise MSPs. So, so what you're going to see today is how does this look today? Um, but this is a journey for the future and for tomorrow as well. And with the support of Sean and Ray and the team here at, at OIT, we're really excited about uh, this being just the beginning of that, that journey. So just a few points before I hand back over to Sean to give you a, a, an overview of the key features of, of the OIT Partner Central. Um, this is in the process of being rolled out to partners as part of the conference. It'll be accessible from the OIT website. Uh, what you'll do is come to the Partners tab on the homepage and you'll find a link to Partner Central. Uh, that's just going to be from the menu you can see here. Once you've authenticated and you've activated your portal view, it's like Facebook or LinkedIn. It's always on. You never have to log out, log in back again. And once you set up your alerts and your different subscriptions, you'll receive emails that will take you straight back to the correct place in the portal as and when the updates are made. And we'll, we'll show you how that works today. So the whole idea here is to keep it simple. And if we haven't done a good job of doing that or there's things that you think could be better, we're very open to your feedback and your input to continually improve and innovate on what we're launching today. So with that said, let's switch to a browser and we'll, we'll start the tour of the portal itself. I'm just going to switch over here and make sure you all can see my screen. Sean, how's that looking? Absolutely. Perfect. Looks good. Great. Okay. So, so this is Partner Central, um, built using Web Infinity technology, but very much all OIT's own work in terms of how it's been configured. We think they've done a, a great job. So, Sean, let me turn it over to you to, to to drive us through the key features that are going to be available for partners at launch. Sure. Thank you. Thanks, James. So, as James mentioned, you will have access through the website to get right to this. You, it's a one-time click on, log in, and you're good to go. Uh, so, the whole goal behind all this was to be able to provide one central repository to get all of your needs to run your business for the sales and marketing operations management aspects. Um, this will obviously evolve over time from your feedback and as we build out more for the needs. So 
what James said is, is echoed here by bring it to us, tell us what you see that you can't do or something that might be beneficial and we'll evaluate. And if it works, it works. We'll let you know. But we all constantly try to improve this for you all. We, the, the most important piece is to improve the partner experience. Now, we're going to take a quick tour. This is, this is a live, this is live too, by the way, everybody. So this is in a demo account, which we know exists everywhere else. So um, we focused on the main key areas when it comes down to sales and marketing, right? First thing that we get most times from all of our partners is talking about quote requests and the, um, just getting business settled right away with, with our opportunities. So James, if you don't mind clicking on the quote request dashboard. So as you're looking at this, you can see here that we give the ability where you as a partner can go come in here if you're a channel partner, click on this and say, hey, I want to do a new request, quote request. The beautiful piece about this is that everything you're doing is directly communicated with the, with the account managers, with our team. They know that you've done this. They know you need it. They can respond. It's, just, it's here to increase the velocity and improve the friction, you know, release that friction that exists in waiting. So, and then you can, not only can you do your quote request, but you can also go through and see where we are with each quote request there is. So right now, if you want to click on that, James, please, you can see the, the submitted quote request. You can see who it is. Okay, you can see what they're trying to, and you can see the opportunity. Now you know we've actually responded. By the way, you will be getting notifications of us doing this as well. So this isn't the only way. Um, also important to note though, when you're doing the quote request, as a partner, if you're already in our system, which you will be if you're in here, this will be your portal, because this is your personalized portal, by the way. This is not everybody else's. This is for each and every partner. When you're in here, you're gonna, your, your information is gonna be auto-populated. Once you log in and you're registered, when you go to do your quote request, because we know that's a we, we know that it just takes up time and it's admin work that people don't want to do, it actually will auto-populate this for you. So everything in this portal is in real time for you almost. Okay. Um, so again, back to the whole point of knowing about the quote request, you're gonna have the ability to see quote request submit, submit your quote request, get your quote, see your quote request has been approved, submitted, sent. You'll be able to see if we won or lost the deal as well. So you'll constantly know you better click on each one of these tiles to see where it is. Okay. So um, we can move on from there. So you can see we tried to put this in a basic chronological order of quotes, sales, and marketing. So we'll start, we'll go into the sales hub now. So one of the things that we hear often from a lot of our partners um, is, uh, well, one thing you can see is we put the quote request form there too. So it's in both places, just in case you don't know where it is. However, um, you want to click on that sales prospecting campaign, please, James. So the, one of the big things we hear is that people don't know exactly how to prospect. They don't maybe have time to do so. They're looking for a process. Speaking of which, you'll be seeing a session in the upcoming days with uh, Chris Weiser on sales prospect processes. So I suggest you go on that if, you, if you're struggling with that. But what we've done is we've done two things here. You can see the very top, the very top asset here is the full explanation of what you do step by step. And you can actually just go on and you can download and keep it. We have a script on voicemail, email, day one, what to do, day three, what to do. This is all in trying to help you guys with getting you out there to prospect for qualified leads. That's what this is about. And then we actually broke it down step by step here, just in case you want to go with it. And you can see at each one, day one, we have your phone script and we have the email you send, follow the follow up, day three, what you do. Again, we know that it's challenging at times to prospect for cold when you're going for cold leads and you're not sure where to go with it, but we wanted to give you something to use. Now we know that also that you're not just selling voice over IP service. We know most of your MSPs out there. So again, when you you can export this. You can download into your system, you can keep it, and you should, and we do strongly encourage you to get in there and add your own stuff in there as well. By the way, we offer sales training as part of our offering to our partners. You can request, you can schedule at any given time. And James is showing you that over there, right there. So I strongly recommend you do so. Come on, we'll help you build out your workflow. We'll talk about what you're trying to do because we know that if you grow as an MSP business, you're gonna grow as a, as a VoIP provider also. Um, but that shows you exactly the power behind the platform, but how organized we are. Now, we also provide a bunch of other, a series of other resources within the sales area too. As you see, we work with all the major manufacturers, um, whether it's Poly, Yay, Link, Snome, take your pick. One thing that we did know, we do know that we wanted to address is that partners have a hard time accessing content from them as well. So they, you know, Snome and, and actually, I want to got to give a shout out to 888 VoIP. They've helped us tremendously. These two companies have helped us to get content readily available. That's marketing material, marketing content, um, not just a basic 
uh, data sheet for people. But you do have that as well if need be. But you can see here, we made it easy for you to see whatever it is you're looking to get. We have filters and, and we've already, we already have filters set up and tags set up. So as you're asking for, if you're looking for hardware, um, we'll obviously be evolving as further as we go to, but we're gonna try to be as, as easy as we can for you guys. So when you're trying to fulfill a customer's needs, you should be able to punch it in, get it, and be ready to go and show them what you need to show them, okay? Um, but this is all ready to go content. You should take advantage of it. Uh, we can move on to um, the marketing portion. As far as marketing, this seems to be one of the most challenging things that we've seen for MSPs across the board. We've launched a few different things here. James, if you can go under campaigns and click on email campaign, please. So we did a few things here. Again, back to what I just mentioned before, as far as when it comes to sales, we know that you're not going to just sell voice over IP as an MSP, but we wanted to give you a way to get started. So what we've done is we've created content on voice over IP, real marketing content involved with manufacturing content, with the manufacturers content they have, plus our own of real world application. So if you wanna open up one of those, um, any one of them is fine. You can see here, this is how the content looks as far as in text. James, if you can open up the actual view, thank you. We've already done this. It's all for channel partners. It is all labeled as a channel partner, right? Um, we have our logo on there. You can export this. We will provide any type of file you need to add on the other logo um, to co-brand. But you will see that you'll have, we have spaces for you guys. James, that's taking a minute there, isn't it? I can't, I'm not seeing anything yet. I just see the clear screen still. Oh, it's uh, sorry. Yeah, it's it's come up on on me. I wonder if I've got a lag on the screen. Let me just refresh real really quick. So, and then for white labels, we've removed our logo from every piece of content that we have because this, as I mentioned, this pro, this portal these portals are personalized to you. When you create your login, when we create you as a as a partner in here, you're going to have access only to what you need to run your business. You're not going to see anybody else's stuff. You're not going to see if you're a white label. You're not going to see channel partner stuff, vice versa. Okay. I'm still not seeing it, James. Oh, okay, let me, let me just re refresh. I think the streaming may be causing a problem yeah. on these overlay windows. Just give me one second. I think it's the streaming on the on the sure. video. I'll, I'll just get my tap shoes and start dancing. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's the bandwidth uh, on the streaming. I'll if, have you're, to just... if you're sharing the application and not the window, it won't show. So yeah, you I, might I have to just it. download. Um, okay, so I don't, if anybody has any questions in the meantime, I mean, we have the chat running. I'm more than happy to answer whatever you need to answer, whatever you need to answer from, from this end. But I think, I hope that what you're all seeing is that there is a journey here for you as partners. We are going to have access in there for all necessary um, documents that you're gonna need as well. So we get a lot of questions on, hey, do you have a copy of terms and conditions? Well, here, you can look at it. We're, it's obviously a template for us, it's ours, but at least you start to get an understanding. Uh, doc documentation on, Different products we have, we'll have it in here. So we will have a we will have a partner um, place for resources for everything you brought across the board. Uh, the partner portal it's actually up and running. Uh, we just haven't we'll, we'll start putting putting the partners in after this week actually. So and what we want to do and so you all understand we don't expect you all to be experts in day one. You know Lauren I know you'll dig into it and spend all day at it. But we are going to have some, after this, over the next week or two, we're gonna schedule some web, some training webinars. We'll have James and his team on. We'll get start getting you guys onboarded. No, Brian, happy hour has not started yet. I mean, it can for you. Okay, so yeah, go into the email campaign. Oh, the, I just wanna be able to pull up a piece is all that matters. Yeah, I think, I think the, uh... I, I think it could be on the stream because we're through this video stream. I'll just use something slightly less uh, resource intensive in terms of the download size. But yeah, That's this fine. is one of the one of the flyers just uh, caught up on the Snome content here, for example. Yep. So this is Snome. Like I said, they put the they put a lot of work into this to help us. They gave us what we needed. Okay. Can you uh, see if there's any other content we can pull up on there too? And and while we're while James is pulling it up, I'm going to create a pull here. Uh, I want to get some get some answers from you all on features that you would like to see. That would be pertinent for you to, for success. And this is probably a good time to say it too, considering James is the CEO of a company that creates this stuff. And Sean, should I? I think um, get. get 
going through a few of the key uh, how tos on this would be would Please. be pretty easy to to just run through with with it with everyone whilst we've got the the group. So so I mean yeah I mean really as, as Sean said that a lot of this is about trying to keep things really simple and there's just two or three things you would probably need need to know about how to interact with this to get the to get the best out of it. So what you're looking at in terms of navigation and landing pages it's really divided into three main hubs. The and you'll see this at the top. You can switch between sales, marketing, and what we've called my hub. And my hub is the uh, is kind of increasingly going to be personalised around role and who you are in the organisation, and trying to make sure you get alerts, updates, and content that's relevant to that role. So one thing you'll see down the side of the portal um, is a button here for a profile. Um, and if you click on that profile button. You can make updates to things like uh, your time zone, your languages, but we're also going to be adding uh, roles into into this list. So if you were able to self-profile and personalize by any of the information, this is where you can change your password or set up your notification preferences. So anything related to you as a user, um, if you if you hit the My Profile button, increasingly that will make sure that you're connected to the key, you know, to the key updates that are relevant. Are relevant to you and we, there will be segmentation by you know type of role and, and so forth being being added as we get more you know more through the setup um, the other thing to bear in mind is wherever you see containers this is what we call different curated areas so normally this will lead you to a, 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 a container for example on brochures you can see okay here are all the brochures we have if you click on the expand button here that'll bring out what we call the the interest so you can see here all of the different brochures that are available to you Will appear in a kind of a feed and wherever you see a subscribe button uh, it'll be a pretty big obvious button at the top of the screen if you hit the subscribe feature um, you can also change your options to say do you want the subscription to send you notifications or not but whether or not then you're using the portal or you're uh, just in email you'll get an update whenever content is added to these feeds so if you're particularly interested in you know, new updates around a particular product line or a brochure of some kind, you can just set your own subscription options. And rather than having to log back into the portal, you'll just be notified whenever anything actually changes. And that actually, you can go further with that in terms of building your own subscriptions and your own interests. So if you look at the search feature at the top of the screen here, you can see that if you click on that, you can just either navigate to sections of the portal through the search, or you can just type for content that you're looking for, and it will sort of guide you to whatever is in the system. And that will search everything. It'll search leads, quote requests, opportunities, data sheets, Spark campaigns, which we'll come on to a second. So let's just do a quick example. So, Hi. hey, James, I see that uh, Ray jumped in here too. Oh. And he's, uh, look at his screen real quick. He pulled up the yeah. content real quick, if we want to share that for a second, just so you can see some of the marketing content, the one you couldn't pull up. Oh, sure. Good. Yeah, that was yeah, overloading we're, my we're bandwidth for some reason. So uh, I'll just stop sharing yeah. really quick to, to let you show that. Sorry. Yeah, something about hey. my uh, overlays, the bandwidth on my stream isn't working. So go ahead, no Ray. Worries. That's that's why we're here. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, you know, we back each other up and, you know, that's that partner community, <laughs> right? Um, <laughs> So this is uh, one of the one of the assets we have. Uh, we have various assets, like James is describing. Um, from a white label perspective, you're going to see you have the full PSDs available. Um, but the Web Infinity, to its credit, because I don't know how many partner portals I've seen that don't show preview PS Photoshop files, uh, Web Infinity does, which is awesome. Um, but you can see the assets here, and we have stuff you know built to use cases. So we have the awesome MSP, which is the you know fake branding for the fictitious white label partner, um, you know, and we have various assets for the type of sales we're doing, uh, and it's all under the marketing hub. That's because uh, I'm other? awesome. <laughs> it's because I'm oh, awesome there, MSP. Yeah, there's definitely something. So you know, but there's uh, there's stuff on it, they're purpose built, right? Our previous assets, and that was a mistake. Our previous assets were like we had tried to have one asset all encompassing all 300 features of the platform. Um, that was one of the things Sean was big on. He said, just have micro pieces focused on a single set of interests. 
Okay, big guy. So, um, and they and all the marketing assets were reworked with that in mind. Um, you know, so whether it's about your auto attendant or your work from home or anything else, uh, those assets are there. They're completely, if you're white label, they're completely rebrandable. Um, so, you know, you know, you can edit the content to your heart's content. If you're a channel partner, you can change the logos around, change the contact information. Um, we'll work with you if you need content changed. Um, this is a first step, not a final step. Correct. And I think it's important that you, to note that this content is built so and it's structured in a way that you guys gives best practice on how you should use this. A couple of things that you should know is that one, one thing we've, we've learned is that you may know, you understand the concept of marketing to a degree, but you don't have a way to deliver it. You don't have the content to deliver. You don't know when you should do it. What to say, when to say, how to say it is very crucial in this case. So we've built these things around, they, we built this around that. There's actually a nurturing campaign set up for you that you can create different pieces to. I see Heather Margolis is saying, um, I think she wants to talk about my awesomeness. She was saying, um, Sean is awesome. I agree, Heather. Thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, and with that, I'll jump off so that you guys can get back to what you're doing. Is there any other assets you wanted to see, Sean, or? Uh, no, right no, in? just that's good. I, that's, I wanted to give people just a good understanding of what they were, what they were looking at to know that we made sure we put the effort in to make you guys look crisp and clean. You know, this is a professional. We respect your business. We want your customers respect it exactly the same way. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I absolutely take advantage of that piece. So it's back to James. Bye, Ray. Thanks. Thank you, Ray. Yeah. So just just uh, picking up where we left off here. So if you if you're using the search and you and you just basically start typing, it, it'll try to. You can run a keyword search for anything that's available to you through through Partner Central, but it will also try to do the kind of Amazon thing in terms of guiding you to things. So you can see here, all right, I I might want to have a look at product data sheets through the search or anything to do with product related. And when you run a search, it'll display all of the results, but it will also automatically try to push you know these containers to you. So if it's a question of, oh, I just want to see the poly data sheets or the year link or the SNOME data sheets, but you can also filter and organize this however you want by clicking on the filters. So for example, if I wanted to do it by manufacturer, it'll then organize and count the different types of resources are available. So let's just filter this down to, to just poly content. And now you can see that it's showing me everything that's poly related. I could keep filtering it further if I wanted. Maybe it's by uh, the family of product or whatever else. And these subscriptions, these services, if you, if you want to create them yourself, once you have search results displayed here, um, it's possible for you then to you know, create what we call your, your own views. So you can see this button here called create interest. Um, if you press that button, you can create a kind of a save search of your own. So if I want to just um, see the poly data sheets, I, I find the results in the search. I save the interest here, it'll match the content in real time. And by creating that interest, I've now built my own subscription and my own sort of view. So this is now available to me whenever I log back in as one of my saved searches. I can filter just from here and I'll receive email updates and notifications whenever whenever that interest changes. So so you can you can really build your own views and everything that I'm creating here will appear persistently in in the portal. And also if you come to the left hand navigation here, you know, all of these things like your subscriptions, your favorites, your profile are available wherever you are in the portal. So you can always get back to these these different things you might have built, whether or not it was, you know, views of of different content or it's alerts on your the status of your opportunity referrals. So the whole point is really you don't have to, you know, you don't have to keep repeating unpredictable behaviors, logging back in, checking your email, uh, just set up the things that are important to you one time, use the search, use the navigation, um, and it should all really be pretty easy to, you know, to find it, you know, when you return to the, to the portal. Just a couple of other things to highlight. Um, when you look at content, whichever view it's in, you'll see some buttons uh, that appear on the bottom of the screen here. So these are, are simple social media type functions. And, and what these do is allow you to share content with other people within your organization. So if I wanted to share a particular resource with somebody that I'm working with, you know, maybe highlight this to Ray and tell him you should take a look at this. The share will just basically send the link and the email alert to whoever you chose to share that content with. So as I send that out now, that would provide a secure link that would uh, bring that person directly back to that content item. Um, I can also add content to my favorites or I can build my own folders. So if I'm trying to create what we call a collection where I want to collect you know, my favorite 
marketing sheets. I can use the add to collection button, just add to one I, I created earlier or create a new collection at the time I'm doing this. So if I wanted to say here, this is James's favorite content, I can build a collection and then it's like a folder basically. I can store anything I want in that folder. So wherever I see anything in the portal, I can just go and tag it to, to my different collections. So this is another really good way of, of organizing your own content. So if you just want to get back to the same three or four assets every time, or you want to share a collection with a, a colleague who's maybe working on a, tip, a, a particular opportunity, then you can, you can just do this through, through these simple buttons on the, on the screen here. You can also make comments. So if you want to give feedback to either the OIT team or you want to share comments with your, your colleagues, you can do that through just tagging it through the comments feature. So that might also be questions on the content or things that you're trying to feedback on, you know, maybe if it's something that you need to help with. So this will be uh, visible to everybody on the OIT side so they can support and reply on any of the, any of the things you're working on. And you can also recommend content which helps weight and influence it in the search results and also promotes it to other users if you got value out of any of the content. So it'd be great if you can use you know, some of these collaborative features. Uh, they're all really simple. It should be just a question of pressing buttons and seeing what happens. The, the, you know, there isn't really a huge training overhead, but we'd love to hear from you to Sean's point of things that we could do better, You know, if things aren't in the portal that you need. Uh, there's plenty of ways to feedback, whether or not it's at the page level or providing feedback to the team directly you know, in something like the entire marketing hub. Uh, the same features will apply in every area. Perfect. So, and also something to add to this is the um, the ability to have assets that'll show relevant quote the relevant information on a quote. So, for instance, when you're creating a quote and you're sending out, if you're selling Yaylink phones, you're going to get that Yaylink sales sheet um, through Web Infinity as well. So, yeah. again, something to make it easier for you all. Go, ahead, James. Yeah, and this is you know more what's happening behind the scenes, but this you know in something like the quote request, everything has been fully integrated in two in both directions with OIT's uh, CRM systems. And so if you make a quote request into here, it's capturing data, uh, you know, around um, the carrier or you know the, the details of the quote. And as you work through these uh, steps and stages, but the idea is not just to, to capture the data for for from for approving the request it can help us then as as Sean mentioned curate the content so if you if you register a quote request for a certain type of opportunity we can automate then here are the correct data sheets you need for that quote here are, you know here are the different content materials that might help you or here are you know the the different uh, marketing campaigns that you can use to to nurture or target the prospect so we're going to also organize the content around the sales activity as you start to register and manage these quote requests through the funnel which is, is a pretty cool opportunity if we can uh, you know, make sure that we're plugging everything in on the other end of the conversation for you. Absolutely. Um, Want to get a little bit into, there was a question asked from uh, Blaine, and this is a great topic about deliver, the delivery of the content. Are we doing it through the portal or are we, how do we deliver, right? So when I mentioned early on, we have, a, we have another Vendor we work with Spark Your Channel, and we have select partners that are going to be under that are under this. So Web Infinity is hosting everything, gives you the ability to upload, import, export. That's what it's there for, right? Um, and have that content you need real time by using us as that vessel. However, it's not a delivery system in that regard. Uh, Spark Your Channel, and if you want to click on that, James. So we started with Spark Your Channel a couple months back and getting this on board as well. This is what you're asking for, Blaine. Exactly. Um, the beautiful thing about this about Sparker Channel and, and, and Heather Margolis is on her list. Let me make sure I don't mess up her, her pitch, of course. Um, the, the nice thing about this is you have that real-time content, that on-demand content that you can personalize and you can actually use to send out. So these are a couple of videos that Ray made, I don't know, a couple months back, I think it was, and threw it into the platform. Um, if you want to click on any, the first video, you can see here a couple of things. Um, the video of Ray will be right there. Oh, it seems like we're not. We're missing the two other videos, the intro, outro. So Heather, I probably have to bring Heather on to this call so she can correct me and fix me on this. So I will bring Heather on. She's the founder of Sparker Channel and Channel Maven. But what you're going to find, and I'm just going to keep talking until she gets on here. But what you're going to see here with this is that you have the ability to personalize your content. You have the ability to ship it out through a link and track everything. Heather, are you on there? I am. Can you see yeah. me? I, oh, I, no, you can't. The camera got all. 
Yeah. We had a I little water situation. If you know any um, MSPs who could help me out with that, that'd be awesome. <laughs> well, you're, that, that was pretty vague, but yeah, water and MSPs. <laughs> Anybody can bring waters. So, yeah, she flooded her house somehow, so therefore she's working out the kinks. So, Heather, um, we are missing something here from what I wanted to show. I don't know what happened to the intro outro video. Maybe you want to talk a little bit about the platform. Uh, it looks like you're logged in as Simon. If you can log out and log in as yourself, that would be okay. where all your good stuff is. Let me do that then. Yeah, why don't you take this screen? Because, uh, Sean, I'll, I'll drop the screen share set because I, I, this login doesn't have that uh, permission sure. on. Sure. It's not letting me turn on my camera, Sean. Everyone, I did do my hair just in case. <sighs> and it doesn't look like Sean's. My hair is nice. There we go. Oh. Bear with me. I'm pulling up mine because I did not prepare for it to be presenting. So, and while I'm doing that, Heather, if you want to give some background on you guys, that'd be great. Sure. So um, I also own a company called Channel Maven. And before that was on the partner side a really long time ago and on the vendor side. And Channel Maven's 11 years old. So we've been working with MSPs and partners like yourselves for over a decade and just got super frustrated that A, there was no video capability in, in many tools um, and that a lot of times you were being given content without actually being able to customize it within your own platform. Um, we fully believe that you should be using your own platform, whether you have a CRM tool like Salesforce or HubSpot, or you have a marketing automation tool like uh, MailChimp or Constant Contact or Eloqua. So Spark Your Channel allows you to customize videos, webinars, podcasts, as well as static content. Um, once you customize it, it renders in a link and you put that link wherever you'd like and it allows you to um, send it through your own platform, send it through social, send it in a one-off email or even just text it to someone. Um, OIT can still see how many clicks you're getting, but they're not actually seeing um, how you sent it. So there's privacy there for you, but then they also can see all the great uh, traction you're getting as you're getting more clicks from uh, prospects that you send content to. All right. I think I figured out all my stuff now. I did. I'm, I don't know I'm, if you I'm figured hoping. out all your stuff, Sean, but I'm <laughs> oh. sure you figured out your screen share. Uh -huh. uh, yes, I'm sorry. Let me Let me specify. I figured out something. <laughs> and here we go. You know, thank you for the moral support. So here Always. you go. Um, we are in awesome MSP, which is obviously mine because I am awesome. And I'm going to come back into campaigns. And just a simple example here. Um, and James, see... I don't see sharing. Do you see it from? Are you guys not seeing my I'm screen? Seeing, yeah, I'm seeing Sean's screen now. Okay. Must be that water, Heather. So what I'm showing is uh, the video. So as I was mentioning before, Ray made, Ray made this video a couple months ago. I made this video just yesterday on this side. And what we did was you have the ability to do a, um, a video of what's, what's the meat of what you're trying to say. So in our case, we're talking about VoIP products. There was a, and, and it's here to help you guys to sell the product and market the product. The intro and outro is for you to personalize it yourself. And, and I'm not going to run, I don't know if I can run, I can try to, but it might not run really well in here. But I'm combining it right now because you'll see my, my beautiful hair mug, Kyle, and, and, you know, and Blaine and all those guys are talking about my beautiful hair. Um, you'll see that I'm on here on the intro and outro, and all I'm really doing is saying, thank you for being part of this. Check out this video on X, whatever it is about, you know, and, and then it's taking forever to do this right now. I'm sure it's because of the platform. The so platform, I'm, I'm get sure. Off of that. It usually takes about 10 to 20 seconds. So, you know. Yeah. Hit no, that, I'm talking about go grab a an event. glass of water. I'm talking about us being on an event stream and not for Spark Your Channel. I'm sorry. Let me clarify. No, not that's Spark what I meant. Channel. Okay, good. I know what you meant. Um, also, you can see here we have, the, we have content that's PDF-based for you to send off as well. And you can add your own personalization onto the next one here as a as a PDF or a business card or whatever it may be. Save your contact details. Once you add it on, you can actually go on and you can combine. And you have the ability to share this, as Heather's mentioning, 
Uh, it'll, it'll, be, it'll give you the ability to generate a link. The link you can send off through social, you can send off in an email, whatever it is, and it's all tracked for you, which is extremely important. If you want to know what numbers are of open rates and click-throughs, we have, you can see here on this page alone, these, these pieces of content we've been sending off, 113 clicks, 22 clicks, 50 clicks, 51 clicks. You know, so you can see the actual, how your content is, the engagement is going and how it's interacting and what people are looking at. So with that said, if there's any other questions that people want to throw out, now is a good time. I have the two experts on here, like legitimately the experts. And by that, I mean Kevin and James and not Heather. Um, <laughs> oh, snap. Uh, did, I, did I say did I, anything else, Heather, I should add to this? Um, no, I think you did a great job, shockingly. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so again, I want you all to, under, to take note the fact that how seamless this was to do. I, I went into my portal. I was able to click through. James showed you how he clicked on the Sparker channel. It is very seamless. Every tool is there for you to use, if you're, but you have to use it, or else we don't give it to you again. That's all. Um, but I think we did a very dynamic, uh, a dynamic job in getting this together for everybody. I think that you'll find that this is very advantageous for your growth. I don't have much more to show in the platform itself, but you will see as, as the as the months go on, we want your feedback and we want to be able to grow the and be able to grow this out. So, Ray, if you're still around, I'm surprised you didn't post another poll. But what I did find out from everybody's everybody's poll, polling, all everybody said that they mostly was sales and marketing materials. And documentation and automation were like second and third. So apparently nobody needs training. You guys are all good to go and have it all covered. Great. Um, that's all we have for this. Unless, you know, Brian, you can get ready for happy hour, I guess, and pour yourself a drink. But thank you all for attending. Sean, let me, jump in, uh, let me jump in. Let me up in one second too. Just as a reminder, everyone, um, it, that we will be doing those events this evening. But we also have time set aside to go uh, visit the sponsors. We're doing the uh, the kind of passport that you'd normally see at a live event, where you go and get your your uh, little passport stamped at the different booths, and you go and do a drawing. What we're actually doing is uh, is key phrases, and um, there were some very interesting key phrases picked out uh, for this. So. Go and visit some of those sponsor booths, look for those key phrases, and we'll be giving out, doing product and special swag giveaways this evening, um, all kinds of cool <laughs> stuff like that. So visit the sponsors. Yes, please, and be there this evening because it is, uh, there's a freaking magician, and he's really good. Like, and he's doing it real time in front of us, and he's gonna engage with people. So you might as well bring your kids. Your kid, my, I mean, my kids are on my nerves, so it gives them something to watch. So by all means, please be involved with your children and you can pay us for the babysitter later. Yeah, bring your kids. I mean, I'm bringing Sean. So, you know, bring your kids. <laughs> I'll be there. You know, so, hold on. Dreams come true. I'm going to be there for that. So I do want to say, he said it already. I will say it again. James, Heather, thank you. Um, Partner Portal has been one of our serious deficits for the last several years, um, we've needed it direly. <laughs> um, and then when Heather came around with Spark Your Channel, uh, we were not even considering that kind of functionality. It, it, I mean, it wasn't even a dream at that point, and this is uh, this fantasy has become reality. So it's really <laughs> awesome to have both of you get this stuff done for us. We th we appreciate you from the bottom of our hearts, seriously. Thank uh, you for having me and and being so engaged with Spark. Uh, likewise, thank you for uh, the yeah the opportunity to work on this. We're excited about where we take it. Like I said, it's all about wh where we go from here now. So it's just the beginning of that journey. Absolutely, yeah. Ray just took, stole my thunder and thanking you again. So I'm not going to. Well, you know why? Because um, I have the I have the magic. That's why. <laughs> so <laughs> Sean's been dying for that all. The I've been waiting for that to come about. <laughs> the magic. It's the magic hat. It's magical. Okay, yeah. so everybody. Um, we will be around. Uh, please go to booths. Please come check us out. Um, look for some follow-ups after the conference next week to start scheduling some other webinars to go over these things and give you guys some training and, and get you guys engaged. We will, you know, we want to make sure you get in and, and, and we want your feedback as quick as possible too. We just don't want any reason why anybody can't succeed, especially when they work with us. We want to be able to work with them and help them. So please 
please be very upfront. Not that you guys aren't usually. <laughs> if anything, probably more brutal than anybody, but it's perfect LA. And thank you all. Um, we'll see you later. Sean and uh, so Sean, Ray, Heather, um, James, if you guys are going to be around in the uh, the lobby as well, um, feel free to to hang out there and, and join in some conversations with with people. Um, it's the, if you scroll all the way to the very bottom in the virtual lobby, you can scroll through the people and find uh, different people that have private conversations or group conversations. Nice. Yeah, Great. And, uh, and uh, Danilo put it in the chat, but go see the sponsors. Go see the booths. They have some. Uh, they have some code words for you. You're going to submit them on the app, and that's going to make you eligible for some awesome prizes, some gift cards with several hundred dollars, some hardware, some Am some Drizzlies. So you know, go go visit the sponsor. Say thank you.